welcome to question three, part one. For one mark, you're asked to write down the value of the log of 36 in base 6. Okay, so you might like to pause the video, write your answer down, or if you're having difficulty, just maybe try our tutorial on logs, and hopefully that will help you solve this problem. Okay, welcome back if uh, you had a go. So for one mark, the answer should be straightforward. And what, what is it? Well, it's two, because what you have to do is find a power that you have to raise six to in order to get 36. That is two. Six squared is 36. So if you got that right, well done, and that will give you one mark. Okay, moving on to question two, which I've written out uh, earlier. Okay, or should I say part two? Part two. In this one, we've got to express two log of three in base A plus the log of 11 in base A in its simplest form as a single logarithm to base A. So again, you might like to pause the video, come back when you're done, see if you've got the same answer as myself. If not, uh, again, the tutorials on logs and log laws may help you uh, to simplify this. Okay, welcome back. Let's see, how do you get on? Well, this is equal to, and... We look at the first term, and if we've got a number in the front of a log, then we can use the power law for logs, and that is take the 2 up as a power of 3. So we write that as the log in base A of 3 to the power 2, 3 squared. We'll write down the second term, just leave it alone, as the log in base A of 11. Okay, the first term here, okay, is the log of 3 squared, which is the log in base A of 9, and then plus the second term, just stays the same, the log in base A of 11. Now, we use the multiplication law for logs. And that is that we can group these two logs together as the log in base A of 9 times 11. So we have 9 times 11. And the log of 9 times 11 in base A must be the log of 99 in base A. And there you have it. Well done if you've got it right. That will earn you three marks.